So after 9-11, George W. Bush had the highest approval rating of any president ever in Gallup's history, with a 90% approval rating. And even though we all know now that he ended up being one of the most incompetent and destructive presidents in American history, he at least was cognizant of the fact that during times of crisis, Americans seek one thing, and that is a leader. And the bar is really, really low. Like, you don't even have to be that good at it. You just have to be present, be visible, make lots of speeches, give us nice platitudes, assure us that everything is going to be okay, don't shit your pants on national television, and that's it. You'll get a higher approval rating. And even though Donald Trump has already botched his response to COVID-19, he's benefiting by just being present because a majority of Americans approved of his coronavirus response, which I mean is astonishing given that he has been very dismissive of the crisis. He, you know, downplayed its severity and only recently took it seriously. But this poll shows us that Americans just want a leader. So just the mere fact that he has these White House press briefings frequently, just the mere fact that he has a more calm demeanor, people are going to respond to that because Americans want a leader. That's what this poll says. That's what the Gallup, you know, approval rating for George W. Bush tells us. And, you know, for a little bit, he was doing okay. He was acting like an adult, kind of. But you can see that he's already starting to unravel because he's incapable of being a grown-up. He's incapable of being a leader. And I'll show you why that is. So he did a White House press briefing last week, and a reporter threw him the, uh, like, easiest softball question ever just lobbed it right down the center and he could have easily just hit it out of the park but what does he do instead he chooses to have a complete meltdown and throw a temper tantrum because you got offended by the reporter because he misunderstood the question that the reporter was asking take a look I'll just follow up. John, nearly 200 dead. What do you say the Americans were scared, though? I guess nearly 200 dead, 14,000 who were sick, millions, as you witnessed, who are scared right now. What do you say to Americans who are watching you right now who are scared? Uh, I say that you're a terrible reporter. That's what I say. Go ahead. I think it's a very nasty question, and I think it's a very bad signal that you're putting out to the American people. The American people are looking for answers, and they're looking for hope. And you're doing sensationalism, and uh, the same with NBC and Comcast. So I don't call it, I don't call it Comcast, I call it Comcast. Let me just ask for whom you work. Let me just say something. That's really bad reporting. And you ought to get back to reporting instead of sensationalism. Let's see if it works. It might and it might not. I happen to feel good about it, but who knows? I've been right a lot. <laughs> like, I, I get angry when I think about it, but then I watch the clip again, and then I just, I can't. I can't not laugh. This was so easy. Mr. President, what do you say to Americans who are watching you, who are scared? Here's an answer. Just, I'm pulling this out of my ass. I tell them to rest assured that the American people, we have the spirit to persevere. We've made it through worse things before, and I guarantee you we'll make it through this stronger than we've ever been before. Like, say something like that. But what does he do? Um... I say you're a terrible reporter. Very nasty question. Terrible. What are you doing? That was a softball. He threw you a fucking softball. And you have a fucking conniption fit. Because you think that he is lobbing a personal attack towards you. No, dummy. He was giving you a softball. A question that shouldn't have been asked because it's such a softball, idiotic question. So I agree, it was, you know, he's probably a terrible reporter because he asked such a dumb softball question that's unnecessary. But I mean, maybe he just feels, look, maybe I should give Donald Trump the opportunity to be a leader here. And Donald Trump just fucking face planted. I mean, this is, this is the bare minimum that you have to do as president. Just be a fucking leader. Pretend, lie, like just make it seem as if you know what you're doing and you have your shit together, but he can't help himself. The guy is a maniac. This dude is a fucking maniac. And if his handlers don't constantly cater to him, give him a juice box, set him in front of a TV with Fox News on, he's going to have temper tantrums. We're seeing that there. Now, on top of that, he uh, made a very, very alarming tweet. In all caps, he says, 
we cannot let the cure be worse than the problem itself. At the end of the 15 day period, we will make a decision as to which way we want to go. Now, I address the meaning of that. I try to decode it because it's very cryptic in a different video. So I'm not going to dive into the substance here. Not that there was much, but just in general, the overall tone. And I don't usually focus on tone because I think that policy substance matters above all else. But again, during times of crisis, like politically speaking, it's very easy for you to rack up points by just acting like a grown up. And here he is tweeting in all caps during a crisis, making this cryptic tweet about something that we're all paranoid about currently watching. We're glued to our televisions. I know I'm researching COVID-19, watching videos on it, trying to, you know, inform myself as much as possible. So we all want to hear what the president has to say, even if we don't like him. And yet this is what he does. Like he just squanders any political capital he has because he just he can't not humiliate himself. He has to act like a fucking big baby. Embarrassing. So, I mean, it's not like this is surprising, but, like, I was almost, like, going to give him credit because he seemed to be taking it more seriously. I mean, we can't forget the fact that he botched COVID-19. Like, he didn't take coronavirus serious. He dismissed it, referred to it as a hoax or implied it was a hoax. And, you know, he tried to write that wrong, presumably, and act like a grown-up, at least try to be a leader, pull, pull up his pants, you know, uh, put on his big boy pants, and yeah, that lasted like five minutes. What a fucking dipshit Donald Trump is. You could support the Humanist Report at patreon.com slash humanist report. But trust me, I'd have way more supporters on Patreon if that was my podcast. Sad. <laughs>